here in Strasburg, PA with my buddy Luke. This is my grandson Luke. Say hi Luke. Hi. <laughs> Today Luke and I are going to go to the uh, Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in Strasburg, PA. We're going to see trains today. We've got Lauren with us also here today. <laughs> it's a cold day here in Pennsylvania, so uh, it'd be nice to be filming inside today. So what are you contemplating today? Moving this 12 inches. Which way? This way. Well that's just get behind a push. Exactly. Well, the problem is, I don't know if you'll notice, but one of the freight trains is separated here, so I'm having coupler issues. They do wear out, and sometimes they stick in the open position. That could be so these ride it, they run every day, all day? Yeah. We put about 100,000 square miles on them a year. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Doug O'Brien. And you're with? At the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. Here, about five years, and I don't. I'm a volunteer. We're all volunteers that work on the layout. Here. So that one's okay. Yeah. So what do you think of the trains, bud? So this is the engineer's seat, and here's what he does. If he wants to go forward, he's going to push through this way. If he stops, he's here. If he goes backwards, it's here. Okay? So you're going to go forward. And this is his throttle. It makes it go faster, okay? So you want to pull that? You can pull it towards me. Every, every click you do, there's eight clicks, the train will go faster. So you get all the way up to eight, okay? And when you're ready to slow down, you put it back all the way down again. Go ahead, try the train, bud. Choo -choo. Give me a wave. Can you wave like you did? That was so cute. Give me a wave.
see a picture here in this orange train. Uh, shot around it a little bit already. I'm not sure if I got anything or not, but I'm uh, going to give it a few more shots here, see if I can't pull an image out of here. I like everything about it except where the daylight's coming through the roof. It's just the, the, all that light up there and those lines just are distracting to the orange. I'm not sure if I can get a good shot out of this or not. It still looks like you care about your work. Oh yeah, I love these things. I take care of them. Like again, it, people always come in and ask the, they'll ask the same question every time. They'll say, "All right, could you show me the Lincoln train?" Well, Lincoln train, there is no one particular train. There must have been 14, at least 14 locomotives like this, the Tahoe, that it ran across with the with his. Uh, this casket and what they would do is every time they get to a city or something like that they would drop off the car and another locomotive would take it from there to go to another state so there's no one particular uh, Lincoln's car was destroyed back in the 1930s it, it caught on fire so there is no Lincoln car Well, that pretty much does it for our train trip here today, and uh, we're going to wrap it up, head back to Harrisburg. So, like Luke just said, if you do like the video and want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you next video. Like I said before, as we go out on these trips, we hope for the best. We go to find images to take pictures of, and uh, try not just to get pictures, but to get quality imagery. And uh, if you don't venture out and don't give it a shot, you know, you just never know what you're going to come up with. So. We'll go home, we'll process these and uh, work on them a little bit in Photoshop and Lightroom and see what we get. But uh, uh, see you next time. Thank you.